angels and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with a hair video and if you can't tell already my hair is looking rather big and rather frizzy and that is because I washed it this morning and then I kind of left it to air dry and then it wasn't air drying because that's just the story of my life when it comes to my hair. So then I kind of blow dried like the inside bits of it because they were still wet and this is basically what my hair looks like. So it's quite big and frizzy. I have quite thick hair but I'm going to be trying out a hair tool that I've seen like everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it, it's been there. Where's it gone? If I can find it. And that hair tool is one of these like hair, oh it's the wrong way around, one of these hair straightening brushes. This one in particular is by Babyliss. I know JML also do one and there's all these other brands like on Amazon that sell similar brushes. But I just kind of guessed that Babyliss is probably available like more worldwide if you know what I'm saying. So today I'm going to be testing this out and my hair is ready for it to be straightened and hopefully this works. I mean... It can't get much frizzier and bigger and less straight than this. Well, I'm sure it can, but this is how my hair looks when I do like nothing to it. So today I'm gonna go ahead and test this out. So I'm gonna open this up and see what's inside. I hate opening stuff on camera because there's always so many boxes and so much stuff inside. Okay, see, there's a box in a box. What was I telling you guys? In here we have the actual brush, straightener, brush, brush, straightening brush, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there's a booklet in here. Let's see if I'm going to be doing this right. Uh, da, 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 da. Does anyone read their like instruction manuals when you've like seen so many videos and so much stuff on TV about it? Not me. So I've kind of just skimmed through this and I feel like I should be okay with making this work. So it comes with a heat protectant glove. I literally feel like that guy from Harry Potter. What's his name? Hagrid, is it? Like, does my hair not look like Hagrid hair goals? There's then like a mat, which I'm guessing the brush goes on. And then, oh, well done, Babliss. There's actually like a little like bag to put it in so you can travel with it. I really, really, really like this. Okay, so the brush itself looks like a brush. It's very heavy and the bristles are like rubbery. I thought they would be quite like hard and stiff, but no, they're uh, they're pretty like rubbery. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this on, on the highest setting, because my hair is really thick, and I'm just gonna start straightening my hair and see how it goes. I am really, really, really clumsy, so I'm definitely gonna wear the glove. And I'm also gonna put some heat spray protectant stuff in my hair, because I wanna keep the ends looking nice and to dry. Oh, this stuff smells so good. Now I'm just gonna brush all of my hair because I do not want there to be knots while I'm like straightening it. Now I'm gonna section it all off as usual and I'm just gonna go ahead and try this brush out. It's making some weird noise. Hey guys, wish me luck. So in the instructions it says to first go under the hair and then it says to go over the hair to smooth it. So let's just give it a go. Oh, I see steam. That's kind of straight-ish. I actually think this is working, you guys. Like... Can you see that? Compared to this, that's pretty straight. I mean, it's not like pin straight, but to me that is feeling quite straight. Obviously it's not as straight as a straightener, but I'm quite liking the way that's turned out. So let's just try and do some more sections. You definitely gotta work in small sections. Like working in thick sections is not really doing the trick. And my hair is actually getting really hot. Like, I can feel it, and I can see the steam. Like, this noise, I don't know whether you guys can hear it. I'm going to put it up to the mic. Can you guys hear that? But it's making this weird, like, sizz not sizzling sound, but like a tss, 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 that kind of sound, like a pressure cooker. Oh, my hair is hot. Thank God I wore this glove. Genuinely just feels like I'm brushing my hair, but it's my hair's actually getting straight at the same time. 
I'm not very happy about the hair that's stuck in here though. I don't want it to like burn off. Time for the next section. This is actually working pretty well. I had very low hopes for this because my hair is so thick. But it seems like it's doing the job. Obviously it's not doing a good job when I'm taking really thick sections. Guys, my hair is genuinely getting so hot. And the brush is also getting really hot. Like the back of it right here is quite warm. See, like it's not pin straight, but it is pretty straight. Oh, I would not brush this like on your scalp because these like little pointy things are quite hot. These hairs like right next to my head so scared to straighten because this thing is so hot like if my finger touches it at the back like look at that that is a hot thumb i'm scared for my hairs that are inside this brush because i feel like they're just gonna burn okay last section left okay my arm is feeling a little bit dead, this is very heavy. But overall, I think it's done quite a good job. I have to go really close up to this root bit right here because there's just this really annoying like kink in it. But I think that's the best that I'm gonna do. So this, you guys, is the final result of using the Babyliss Hair Straightener Brush. The actual name for it is called the Babyliss Heated Diamond Straightening Brush. And as you can see, it's straightened my hair for sure. The ends, however, are still looking a bit frizzy, not gonna lie. It's not like a bit of like hair serum that can fix that. But other than that, my hair generally looks quite straight. I mean, what do you guys think? This is definitely a lot like quicker and easier to use because you do just feel like you're like brushing your hair. For people with thick hair, it is a bit of a struggle because you have to use a lot thinner sections. But I think for someone who is on the go and has quite thin hair, this is actually quite a nifty little tool to have. It does retail at £79.99, which is basically £80, which is quite expensive because you can get straighteners which are less than £80, which obviously straighten your hair and also curl your hair because you can curl your hair and wave your hair and all sorts with straighteners. So in the sense of like functionality, I still prefer a straightener because I can do a lot more with it. But when it comes to like quickly just going over my hair in the morning when I'm in a rush and I just want to go over the areas that I probably already straightened the day before, this is quite good. But again, £80 is quite a lot of money. So I'm actually just going to read you guys through what this brush claims. It basically says that there are unique bristle combinations for total smoothness. I mean, my hair's quite smooth, but the ends are quite frizzy. It says there's heated straightening fins, which I'm guessing are the little spiky things in here. There's flexible taming bristles, which is true. These are quite like flexible and they do move around. It also says that there are detangling combs and I was not going to comb my hair with this because my hair is so thick that I had to comb it with a separate brush. Just saying. So it has a diamond infused ceramic finish, which, I mean, it's a pretty nice finish to the actual brush. It also says that there's a super iconic frizz control. Um, I mean, my hair is straight, but the ends aren't like silky smooth, you know, like they're looking a little bit frizzy. So I wouldn't necessarily say that this is like frizz proof. <laughs> um, it definitely does straighten your hair though. It actually heats up to 200 degrees centigrade and there are also three heat settings. So you can have it either at 180, 190 or 200. It has an auto shut off, which obviously all of us like, we praise the Lords that these hair equipments have auto shut off because the last thing you want is when you're out and about and thinking, oh my God, did. I close my straighteners. So that's a really good a feature of this. There's a heat protection match, storage pouch, three-year guarantee, which is obviously like the generic stuff. Overall, I really like it. I don't know whether I would recommend anyone spending 80 pounds to get this. I mean, it is a fab tool. It 
does work, as you can see in my hair. 80 pounds is a lot of money for this hairbrush. I know you can get some for cheaper. I will leave a list of all other kind of similar hair brushes like this, straightening brushes, in the info box below for you all. But yeah, um, I hope you guys liked this, me trying out this crazy straightening hairbrush. Please let me know if there are any other weird products that you want me to test out in the info box below. If you guys could leave links to them, that would be amazing because it means that I can quickly go and just buy them straight away. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I am so incredibly hot after using this and I have all my studio lights on in front of me. I am gonna go and sit in front of a fan and cool down <laughs> before I edit this video up for you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me suggestions of videos you'd like to see next. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe button is down, down there somewhere. Uh, and yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.